Wait, what the heck? Magneton actually evolves in this game. Magnezone is actually in this game. I didn't even know Magnezone was in this game, but apparently at level 45, our Magneton is going to be evolving into Magnezone. Holy moly, dude. That is so cool. And welcome back to... Whoa, what the heck? Is he really trying to learn Screech for... Okay, well, we're gonna get Screech for Screech. Welcome back. What a way to start off the episode, guys. I did not even realize that Magneton could actually evolve in Pixelmon because obviously there is no Mount uh, Coronet or, you know, Charged Stone Cave. But I guess he still evolves in some mysterious way into Magneton. And this is actually gonna be our latest team member to take on the Flying Gym today. And like every team member, this Magneton deserves a nickname, and that is going to be Tesla, because I had a Tesla, or rather I had a Magneton named Tesla back in Pokemon Black and White 2, and now he returns in Pixelmon at level 45. Of course, he is ready to take on the Flying Gym, which is exactly what we're going to be doing today, so if you guys are excited for some more Pixelmon action, make sure to hit that like button and show your support, as we're actually going to be training up first of all, because... You might notice my team is not quite ready. And Tangelo now at level 39. Holy moly, what is up with this giant Groudon? That is so cool, dude. I saw a giant fur alligator late, uh, like earlier today. It was literally as big as this Groudon. Like a fur alligator, though. Isn't that crazy? But anyway, uh, Tangelo is almost at level 40. Actually, Tangelo's right there. Oh, it's Tangelo Jr. Wow. This guy's already got it. Actually, that's not even him. Wait, was it? Now I'm confused, man, but... Definitely at level 45 already. I'm trying to get my own Tangelo to level 45, but what I actually thought of doing was just trying to get her up to level 40. Um, and then after level 40, I'm going to train up or use those rare candies that we've got, both for Rush and Tangelo. So that way we'll have three team members ready to take on that flying gym. And then our last member, uh, I was debating between Steven and Cell, and I actually managed to find a level 40 for Skaroopy, so I'm gonna go check it out in just a little bit, uh, and we'll see if it's better than our own Cell. If it's not, then obviously I'll keep training Cell, but anyway, uh, for now, I really want to get Tangelo to level 40, so let's take out a couple more of these Onyxes here, and there's even a Rush 2.0. Holy crap, how do I not realize this? You guys are so awesome. You all have, uh, I guess, not really my Pokemon, but inspirations of them, um, which is really cool, so yeah, let's see if we can find one more Pokemon to battle. There's actually a wild Charmander right here. And this might just be the one to give us level 40. I'm not sure that it will be, but oh man, it was so close. Okay, one more battle, this time for sure. Is this gonna be the one to give us the level 40? Yes, it is. Nice. So Tangelo already finally at level 40, um, which means that Cell is now our lowest team member. So we're finally gonna get out of the Safari Zone, guys. I know the last like three episodes. We've been chilling in here, but it's honestly the best area in the whole server, in my opinion, uh, to find rare Pokemon and also train up because a lot of uh, high-level wild Pokemon show up. We're finally out of there. No turning back now. I'm going to go ahead and heal up because, well, we kind of need to heal up. And then we're going to check out our PC. Why is this going so slow? Are you kidding me? Except it worked every other time, so I think I just got really unlucky this time. Is it done? Please tell me it's done. It's literally been like two minutes already. Oh my gosh, please. <laughs> this is torture, dude. We can hear the sound though as if it's going to be done right now. And are you kidding me? You have actually got to be kidding me. How is this possible? Why does this happen to me? I'm sure this is the episode you guys were waiting for right here. Oh, is it done? Yes, finally it is done, guys. So let's check out uh, our PC, which is... Full of Pokemon, holy crap. Yo, somebody sent me a Metagross, dude. That is so crazy. All right, so we have way too many Pokemon now that I could choose from. Um, and the thing is, I really want to use, whoa, what the, did we just get a Riolu? I don't know what just happened there, but I think I put something in the PC and got a Riolu immediately after. Or I might've had that Riolu the whole time. I'm not sure, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and put Steven in the PC. And these are the four Pokemon that we are gonna use to take on the Flying Gym. And before we do, Cell is actually, I feel like it's going to evolve really soon, before level 45. So I'm going to head back over to Gym 2, which was the area we trained up Cell in before. I knew there were Pokemon here. For some reason, I couldn't see any of them. But look at that. There are so many wild Pokemon here. So let's go ahead and start battling him up. Uh, we're actually almost at level 39 already. So this is not going to take nearly as long as I thought it was going to take. Um, and Bug Bite is actually pretty strong at taking out these Bay Leaves. This is basically 
how we trained up for the second gym, and now we're doing it again for the third gym, guys, but, uh, wow, we didn't even get level 39 from that, are you for realsies? Alright, well, we'll definitely get it from this Chikorita here, or apparently a Vile Plume, I did not know I was battling a Vile Plume, what the, do you guys even see a Vile Plume here, like, I'm not quite sure what's going on, I literally don't see the Vile Plume, but, it should go down in one flamethrower, hopefully, uh, and maybe, nope, still no level 39 for Cell. Are you serious, bro? So I totally realized there is a much better area that we can train up our Skorupi, and that is at the 5th gym, which is a Psychic gym. And that's because Skorupi actually learned Night Slash not too long ago, so there are definitely a lot of Psychic types that I feel like Skorupi could handle here. I'm not really sure, though, so there's only one way to find out, and that is to battle what the heck? Why is it saying again I'm at level 39? Oh my god, I forgot. We are poison type. Um, But maybe it's actually Rush who gets to train with these psychic types. Look at that. We're going to find out how much this bite actually does. Not very much. Maybe Flamethrower does a little bit more. But this might actually prove to be better training than... Oh gosh, maybe... Never mind, guys. These, these Pokemon are a little bit too strong for us right now to train up with. But... If we can even take out one of them, I will be happy. So let's go for the brine. Oh my gosh, this is not going to do that much, is it? Oh, we flinched. Are you kidding me? We actually got flinched. Okay. Well, I know that brine does more if it's less than half HP, and we got a critical hit on it for real. All right, well, now for sure this brine is going to kill it, but I don't even feel good about it because it took down two of my Pokemon. Are you kidding me? That brine didn't even kill it. Holy crap. How are we ready for the flying gym if we can't even take out a wild hypno, guys? This is just tragic. Can we please get in a battle with this jinx? <clears throat> there we go. All right. So I'm going to switch out. Oh, wow. So is that low experience? What the heck is going on with my game? Oh, my gosh, guys. What is happening? This is actually making my eyes hurt. I'm sorry. I'm, I might have to censor this. I feel like this might give some people a freaking seizure or something this is crazy what the heck dude oh my gosh i don't know why pixelmon is doing this right now but i do know that this jinx is finally dead thank goodness because i could not really handle that much longer but our experience is not even going up for some reason but thankfully a bunch more pokemon spawned right over here there's actually a kadabra that should be easy for cell to take out Finally, something that Cell can actually handle, and we'll see if uh, experience is glitched or what's going on because, yeah, we gained 200 right there and instantly get level 40. So it was definitely glitched out, and holy crap, at level 40, Skorupi is going to be evolving. So, holy moly, guys, the double evolution today, and both Pokemon that we are definitely going to be using against the Flying Gym. So, welcome, welcome, the Drapion, any second now, and there it is. That is actually really small, or at least a lot smaller than I thought Drapion was going to be, but yeah, that, <laughs> that's a really small Drapion, dude. What the heck? Look at this thing. What? I thought Drapion was supposed to be gigantic, but I, I guess not. I don't really know. Why did an Ender Pearl just drop from the sky? I don't even have enough space for it, but you know what? Now that I've got it, boom, go away, Ender Pearl. Where is this going to... Oh, oh. Is this about to teleport me? <gasps> Holy crap, is that a wild Tyranitar? Oh, of course not. <laughs> it's this guy trading. Why would it ever be a wild Tyranitar? I don't know. But, um, I guess now that we... Whoa. Um, hello? Did, did the Ender Pearl just go through? What? <laughs> that was crazy lag, man. But, now that we did all of that, guys, like I said, we're going to be using rare candies the rest of the way. So, why do my Pokemon not come out today, dude? I'm having the worst, like glitches ever but anyway there's rush so here you go buddy 42 43 you know what we didn't even need to do this because we pr could probably trade against those metagross really easily but i'm feeling extra lazy right now so there we go rush is now 45 uh next up is going to be tangalo here who is going to also get to 45 learning safeguard also um not sure that i really need that so i'm going to go ahead and not get it and one more level there we go um, so finally, of course, is going to be Cell, who refused to come out earlier, but now is definitely coming out of the Pokeball, so let's go ahead and get him all the way to 45 as well. I don't think I need Scary Face. Um, and there we go, no more moves learned, so we're good now. Now we have everybody at level 45, 
We're going to go ahead and disable the leveling, and we are going to get ready to take on the Flying Gym. But before we do, guys, we're going to go check out the TMs real quick, because I know there's got to be a Thunderbolt or maybe a Volt Switch in there that we can make use of for our buddy uh, Tesla, who definitely only has Thundershock right now, so that is not going to cut it. But the top floor is the TM, so let's check him out. We got uh, Iron Tail Drain Punch. All right, I'm not seeing anything electric yet. Yo, Earthquake is here, actually. That would be really sick, but I don't think we need Earthquake right now. So there's the Thunderbolt. Definitely want that. And is there actually a Volt Switch? I see a lot of really good TMs. I didn't realize Fire, Thunder, and Ice Punch are actually TMs also. There are way too many good TMs in Pixelmon, dude. Like, the fact that there's over 100 of them is crazy. And I have yet to find Volt Switch. Oh, there it is. Volt Switch. Yeah, I think I need that one too. Except my inventory is full because of this stupid egg. All right, there we go. So Tesla can come out now. And I feel like um, we could have had... Oh, wait, what? Wait, what's happening? Oh, there we go. And there we go. That's pretty much the only two electric moves that you need right there. Um, now, as far as Cell goes, I saw a Sludge Bomb TM, but I'm not sure that Cell has the best special attack. Definitely has a better attack stat there. So I think all of our Pokemon are ready to go. Why the heck is Drapion a bug and poison type? Why in the actual heck is Drapion, who is... Clearly a dark and poison, a bug and poison. This must be a glitch of some kind, right? Like, I'm 100% sure that Drapion... Oh, wait, what the heck? We just got Fabby the Beast? What is going on here? I guess somebody just sent me that, so thanks to uh, whoever sent me that. Level 69, that's pretty powerful. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and finally warp over to gym number three, because even though it shows that Cell is a bug and poison, which is totally not true. Uh, I have a feeling it's just a glitch, like a visual bug, and we're actually going to end up being dark and poisoned. So, here we are at the flying gym. Before we head on inside, I guess uh, we've got to go deposit this Fabby and also heal up. No, I got the slow glitch again. Ah, oh, why does this keep happening? I guess I'll see you guys in another hour, because as you can see, not even the third Pokeball is popping up right now. This is really sad there's no way i i can't oh my gosh i hate this this is the worst look at that little shuckle sneaking in too <laughs> what is going on here dude seriously this is the worst it has ever happened the shuckle is done with it he's just leaving now he's done with this dude just like i'm done with this oh wait what the heck he's coming inside what dude Someone else is here now. Oh, wait, what? Oh, I'm free. Finally, I'm free. Holy crap. That actually took so long. That is crazy. I'm going to throw this egg off the side, and it didn't even disappear from my hand. I have a feeling I'm lagging, like, really, really bad right now, but I'm not sure if it's me or the server. So, anyway, let's deposit Fabby the Beast, and now it is time, guys. The Flying Gym is definitely open, but I don't actually remember how to sign up for it, so we're going to head back over there and uh, try to sign up. I feel like it was Jim... Um, I, I, I don't even remember. So let's just go check it out. It says the rules right over here. So, uh, the welcome to the flying gym slash gym join gym three. And there we go. Level 45 max allowed to bet level during battle. No choice items, no EXP shares, no duplicates and, uh, three potions. Oh, I actually do have super potions. I forgot about that. Um, have two hyper potions as well. So I guess we can use two of those. And... Oh, I was like, don't nickname Pokemon. What the heck's up with that? But yeah, I guess that is it. We're definitely following all the rules. So eventually we will have our flying gym battle in here. Uh, except I don't know if the gym... Oh, is that just gym leader? Yeah, that is a gym leader. Okay, so eventually we're going to have our battle. I'm actually thinking of starting off with uh, Cell. Because he does have those toxic spikes. And I feel like we should actually... Um, get those out as soon as possible and wow we are already in the battle what's up kevin james bro check it out we've got my first two badges the rock and the grass and it is time to take on the gym leader kevin games welcome to the flying gym have you read the rules and are healed heck yeah let's do it uh do <laughs> all right but here we go his first pokemon is going to be emolga that's interesting. Well, like I said, guys, I'm going to start off with Cell. So here we go. Our third gym battle on the Pocket Pixel server. And actually the one that I never actually made it to in my first two playthroughs of this. 
Uh, I'm a little bit nervous, not gonna lie, guys. I just realized, like, we're battling against a real person, and I get a little bit nervous every time we're battling, like, against another real person, so... Anyway, hopefully Kevin Games here puts up a good fight. We're gonna start off, of course, by laying down the Toxic Spikes. Alright, he goes for the Electro Ball, and of course I laid out the layer of Toxic Spikes, so... That's not quite going to poison the Emolga, but it'll definitely poison anything else he decides to bring in, so... Um, I guess we'll find out how much our Night Slash here does. Ooh, a good amount. Oh, no, we got paralyzed from Static. Dang, that actually really sucks. Um, so because he went for Acrobatics, I know he has Electro Ball, but I don't think one Electro Ball can actually, like, one-shot our Tangelo here. Oh, man, okay, now it definitely will, actually. Uh, so I'm not sure why I did this. I feel like we're about to die to Electro Ball. Ooh, we survived it. Nice, dude. So there we go. Ice Beam will take down that Emolga. And we're actually not off to a bad start, but we're also not at a very good start. I'm not sure why he would go into Gliscor if it's four times weak to Ice Beam, but sure. Oh, maybe that's why. <laughs> okay, well he was definitely faster than us there, so we can't really go out to... Oh man, this is really rough. I feel like this Gliscor is going to have definitely have a ground type attack, but hopefully not Earthquake. Oh, it's got Dig. Alright, well, it went down Dig in a hole. And we actually don't have our own... Wait, does this thing... Oh, wait, why did I just... I did not mean to click that. Um... Well, guys, I'm sure you know that this battle is kind of over. I misclicked a couple of times. <laughs> I'm not really sure why. I thought that I could right-click it and check out its moves, but apparently right-clicking just sent out Tesla, so... Pretty sure this battle is over now. I'm gonna go ahead and Volt Switch, because why the heck not? And admit defeat here because we did not do too well against this gym. So, better luck to us next time, huh? Is somebody narrating the battle? <laughs> I think people are narrating the battle in the chat. This was a terrible showing. I don't know what happened, guys, but I got completely destroyed. I wish I could have done better, but unfortunately, we didn't. So, uh, wow, that's really nice. I, I like that there's the lake down there. It's the view only a loser would see, because you'd have your head down in shame. This is just really tragic. So next time, when we challenge the electric gym... Wait, it's a grass type. No, the flying gym. The flying gym, that's what it is. I don't even know why I can't think straight right now. Maybe I am actually that devastated that we just lost. Because let's be real, that was a really, really sad loss. Like, I didn't even stand a chance, bro. Ah. <sighs> Let's check this out because I, I have some stuff in here. Dude, I could have had leftovers. I could have put that on one of my Pokemon. How could I forget about that? And we have Scald in here. Oh, yeah, because Lapras couldn't learn that. But anyway, um, I'm not sure what we do from here. We definitely lost that gym battle. And I don't feel like uh, battling that again. Maybe I'll check out some of the Pokemon you guys g gave me in the PC because I feel like there's definitely some stronger ones there. But how do we even like get to the PC right now? Also, what is my home? Cause I just did slash home and I don't even know what my home is. Oh, I guess, I guess this is my home. I'm not sure what I'm going to use the Thunderstone for, but holy moly! I did not realize there was a giant Pokemon Center in the big city. There's even a little Mudkip statue. Yo, this is so sick. That is so cool, dude. But yeah, we need to heal up our Pokemon after that tragic loss. Yo, this is the Chikorita I think I caught myself. It's actually a huge... Chikorita. I caught it because I wanted to see or show off how huge it is. And of course, we can't even see it. I'm pretty sure it's here, but we just can't see it. That's why I keep running into it. Please, Chikorita. Oh, there we go. Look at how huge that thing is, dude. That is insane. <laughs> I feel like that's like the biggest Chikorita ever. I'm actually curious how big it'll become if we try to evolve it. So come on back out here. Oh, no, I retrieved it. Why won't it come out? Oh my gosh. Today has been the most frustrating episode. This is not a side of me I usually show off, but I am actually getting really annoyed at this because not only are my Pokemon just not coming out today, we had the Fela or we had that glitch with the healing machine like three times and we lost the gym battle. Like it is not a good day for Pixelmon. At least our chicker. Are you kidding me? It really didn't come out still? Okay, there we go. At least our Chikorita finally came out. So let's get it up to level 36. And that is, of course, going to spark another evolution here. I just want to see how big this Bayleaf is going to be. Because if the Chikorita is that big, bro, this uh, Bayleaf has got to be pretty dang big. So 
Here it comes, anytime now. And yeah, there's Bailey. That's actually not much bigger than the Chikorita. Uh, but also learning the light screen. Wow, this thing has not very good attacks, does it? All right, but let's send out the bay leaf now. See how big that thing is. Yeah, I, I thought it would be a little bit bigger. So let's check out the final form, which is, of course, Meganium. And I'm expecting this thing to be a behemoth. Like, this thing better tower over the entire Pokemon Center because otherwise I would have rather keep this thing a Chikorita. Because the Chikorita was, like, just as big as this bay leaf is. But it looks like it's growing quite taller. So we'll see right now that this Meganium is not really that big. But it looks cool. I actually have never had a Meganium in Pixelmon, I don't think. So if we could actually see it. Yo, it's a shiny Starly. I don't think it's actually shiny. I'm not sure what this is, but I want to battle it. Oh, wow. What the heck? It's a level 50 Starly. I'm pretty sure this is a boss Pokemon and I don't actually want to battle this thing. I kind of I can't run away from it. What? Are you kidding me? All right, Cell, you've got to handle this, right? Like, if you couldn't take down the gym leader, you can at least take down a boss Starly, can't you? Oh, it goes for the double team. I love it. Technical or tactical decisions right there. And bam! Poison Barb and a TM for Grass Knot are both dropped onto the floor. What the heck? What, what, do, I, what do I do with this? Oh. Oh, those are my rewards. Okay, well, I couldn't pick them up because apparently there's too much, too much crap in my inventory, so... There we go, now I can pick it up. And that is gonna be the end of this episode. If we could show off this Meganium. Uh, uh, are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, it finally came out. And there is the Meganium in comparison to us. Pretty dang big though. Um, I don't know, I feel like the Chikorita looked a lot bigger just because it's Chikorita and it was huge. And this Meganium, this is pretty big, but it's not quite as big as I thought it would be. But anyway, that is going to be it for today, so hopefully next time we will rematch the Flying Gym and take it down because that was a really, really sad battle. So it looks like Kami's Lookout, that's pretty cool. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one.